spreading the Christmas cheer. Well, Santa's getting a little tired of walking. Seems like everybody picks me up and drops me back off. So I've been uh, on the old phone searching the marketplace. So let's see what we can find here. Whoa, whoa, that's my Tinder account. Don't worry about that. You might want to edit that out for Mrs. Claus. But I found this guy on Marketplace. Looks like he has uh, multiple things for sale, all of them running on good old American gasoline. Let's see if we can find a, a new sleigh for Santa up there. Something with a little uh, HP, if you know what I mean. I mean, this has got to be the place. This must be the place here. I see a Hummer and that thing uh, smells like diesel. Anybody in here? Hey, Santa, there you are. Are you Chris? Hey, how you doing? You're, you're the guy I'm looking for. Did you bring me a gift? <clears throat> well, it depends on what you can, you can set me up. I with. brought you a gift. Oh man. You know what? I figured this kind of place would have lukewarm Coors Light. Perfect for Santa. So I was looking at that marketplace ad and you said you basically had anything a real American's looking for, right? <laughs> Correct. I walk in the shop, we got a Hummer, we got a, what's that, 64 Chevy? 65. 65 Chevy, convertible Camaro, new Camaros. I even got a rock bouncer. Like, those tires suck up a Coors Light. So <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking you might be the guy to help me out. Could be, what you looking for? Well, my sleigh went down and I'm looking for something American. I mean, I'm getting old, and let me tell you, as you get older in life, you just get what you want, right? Yeah. No matter what it costs. So I'm looking to pick something up. You want me to show you what, you want to show me what you got? Yeah, sure, you like four wheel steer? Getting in parking lots when you're getting old? You know, it's hard to get that sleigh around, so Santa's new sleigh could definitely use four wheel oh, steer. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to replace right. the sleigh, you know? Rear engine, you like your rear engine? Rear engine is the thing. I okay. mean, Joe Thompson's doing it at UFO. All, right. Right. All the All cool right. kids are doing it. All right. You got something real nice? What do you think about this? Hold on, let me just pop this open because I'm gonna drop my presents. Just take a moment here, right? So, that what is that thing? Just tell me what this is to begin with. This is a 1967 Firebird. 67 Firebird, yep. oh, that body's in Don't shape. worry, it'll buff yep. out. So, the Firebird is kind of like the low-rent Camaro, right? Right, right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, we used to call it the Fire Chicken. Well, this one's called the Dirty Bird. The Dirty Bird, okay. Yeah. So the Dirty Bird obviously is not all Firebird because I'm reaching in right here and whew, those are a little warm. You must have just moved this. I see some headers in there. And uh, what else do I see? I see an engine. So is that a, looks like a big block, big block Chevy? It is a big block, a little, right. little 454. 454 big block with headers basically two inches away from your head. That's exactly what Santa's looking yeah, for. Yeah, we got a little heat wrap right there. We're good. Oh, that'll be good. So uh, tell me about this car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around to the other side here. Well. Poke my head in there. I started off with some inch and three quarter roll cage and I just started, I took a couple measurements off the H1. I started just fabbing. Oh just my God. Just wanted to make my own tube chassis this time and I didn't want to set it on a Hummer frame like the last one. So this is a full tube chassis. Yeah, inch and three quarter. Just, rear, just mild steel though. Rear engine, it tucks up actually into the uh, uh, Firebird uh, body pretty good, huh? And yeah. got no dash, this is all business here, right? Yeah, no dash. It had the gauges right here at one point in time, but gauges are just something to worry about. And I don't want to worry about nothing. When you're, in, when you're driving this thing, I'm taking, uh, I'm guessing that you really don't have time to look down at the gauges. Not at all. <laughs> Not yeah. at all. So got your shifter. Uh, I assume this is probably like a power glide. Yep, it's power glide. So power glide. Now tell me what's going on right here. That's the um, top. That's the main drive shaft that uh, powers the SCS transfer case down there. So you got rear engine, big block, uh, through the power glide, through this drive line tube. This is just a safety shield right here. And I see the uh, SCS case right there. Yes, and sir. And it drops straight down. So that SCS is what kind of gear reduction? It's a two to one, one point nine. 
So two to one gear reduction that's in there all the time. There's that's no a, shifting it or anything like that. No, nope, that's gear. a 10 inch drop. Yep. I noticed your seat's super thin and small because there's not a lot of space. No, there's not a lot of room. You got to suck it up to get in there. How does it feel to have your arm resting on a transmission? With it some... doesn't even really get that hot. <laughs> I like the plexiglass to protect you because. Uh, you yeah, know, we got the one inch bulletproof plexiglass. You well, know, we got to so have that. I'm looking in there. You have a magneto. Yep, you just need this. This isn't just a regular 454. <laughs> it's a 454. Might have some aluminum rods, you know. So you got a magneto, Stads. and then there's this aluminum thing stacked on top. What the hell's that? A uh, BDS stage two blower. Oh my god, this is like you know the 1980s, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw, you know, everybody, I see everybody's air, going EFI. I'm going mechanical. Oh, the air intake is badass. So this is mechanical. Mechanical fuel injected, yeah. No shit. Yeah. Oh man. I so, have no room for no carburetors. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> So blower, big block, um, obviously all roller, right? Right. Got a bunch of Gucci parts in there. Eh, uh, here and there, you know. And big, right, hey, you got, a, you got V drive boat oil pan holds twelve quarts. Oh, there you go, Magneto. So let's uh, let's pop this hood off, and you show me what's going on under here, because we don't have an engine, so it's got. To be no, we just got a twenty gallon fuel cell. Fuel tank up front really shows the tube chassis well. Um, yeah. And one thing, right down in the middle, we got to show the viewers at home that that is a, a small drive line. Basically, it's just a CV hooked together. There's right. No slip, no nothing. Yeah, 1350 U joints. From not, the not SCS too crazy. To what is that diff? Dana 20. So that, so this is where it gets Hummer H1. Right? Yeah, right, right. So you have a Dana 20 front diff and a Dana 20 rear diff, which Correct. is basically what was in old Jeep CJs, right? Right, but these S are flipped. Same gear sets will go in. They're flipped upside down and they're flipped because why? Because the engine's in the back. But here's the deal. This is where it gets really confusing. If they're in a H1, they're flipped to basically high pinion because the portals then reverse the Right, because it's only a single drive, gear. Right? Single gear. Because portal. the engine's in the front. When the engine's in the rear, you flip them to low pinion like they really are in a CJ so that it spins opposite to make it still drive forward with the portals. I mean, you can, your mind can get blown. Oh, when here. I put it together first, uh, I put the front end upside down, so I had the wheels going like this. You put it in like it was in the Hummer, yeah, right? And right. then you went to drive, you put it in drive, and it went back. It wouldn't backwards. go nowhere. Oh. One was going this way, one was going this way. It wouldn't go nowhere. That's tough to it drive. It just revved up that's and tough. wouldn't go nowhere. That's tough to drive. So <laughs> It felt like it was binded up real bad. So <laughs> I'm looking at this thing, Firebird front clip, you know, original Oh, this metal. is six, 68 Camaro front. Oh, 68 Camaro. So. Yeah, 68 Camaro front. Okay, so you kind of, you got, you got, uh, yeah, you know, we did a Camaro front clip and a Camaro tail pan on the back. I like to call that a Camaro conversion. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, what, that's, what all, that's what all the new boys are doing these days. But tell us what you got right here. So come around here and look in. So all tube chassis, but you built all these control arms. I built right? everything from your guys' parts at your shop So you right were coming here. by getting shock tabs, tube inserts, time joints, yep. slim straps. Yep. So yep. You, uh, you didn't open up any book or anything. You just... Nope, right out, right it, out of right? my mind. So looking at this right here, Upper tubular control arm, inch and a quarter Himes, inch and a quarter Himes in the full hydraulic steering. Correct, right? yeah. So it's full hydraulic ram in the front. I was just trying to line bolt holes up. If and the then, bolt holes were close, I'd get that size. <laughs> <laughs> this thing has the, the Hummer basically outers, right? Right, Hummer outers, Which yep. is about a two to one reduction as well. Yep, yep. And is there anything special on the CV? Oh yeah, we, we use a long side front Hummer uh, axle to make this two inches wider than a Hummer on both so sides. So this thing, when you're standing next to it or looking at it from behind, the whole thing is just super wide, right? Yeah, it's uh, two two inches wider on each side than so H1. So basically, you took one axle shaft out of an original H1, which is the long side front, because yep. the diff's offset. Correct. And you put four of those in this thing. Yep. And you got a super wide trash. Yep, found them on eBay for 150 bucks oh, each. Oh man, eBay's just as good as Marketplace. <laughs> oh yeah, huh? especially these old Hummer parts, they're dime a dozen if you look. Yep, yep. So I'm looking, you got wheel wood brakes in this thing, um, quite a bit of tube in the firewall. And, oh, we still uh, got our trim tag. Oh, yeah. Still legal, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Still street legal. Well, what year is it? <laughs> it's 1967. Oh, so it's pretty smog. Yeah, she's got the wing windows. Yeah, because do you think we could pass smog with that thing? Oh, sure. Why not? California smog? For sure. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I just have them look the other Wait. way. A couple of C-notes will do it. That's that's a real glass window. Yeah, right? real steel, real glass. Steel, except for the hood. glass. And you got glass in the doors, too? Yep. Yep. Got, oh, I, I can't let... The, I don't know if you've seen in there. There's no air filter, so I can't let no mud get in there while I'm mud. Oh, yeah. I saw the air filter. <laughs> yep. So, uh... Tell me what's, what we can look at the back here. Why don't, you, why don't you scoot over a little bit? So what do you got going in here? 
Uh, it's the same exact thing as the front. I yep. just built the front on the table and just uh, set my, my portals up where I wanted them at and then connected the dots with my frame rails and then built two of everything. And the fronts and the back are exactly the same. Same hydraulic ram too? Same hydraulic ram bought from you. Yep, and then those are two and a half inch king coilovers. Yep, two and a half inch, uh, 12 inch king coilovers and uh, the steering rams are 10 inch, uh, or no, nine inch um, trail gear. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then I remember we learned a little something on this thing is that because you're on A-arms and cantilever, you can't run the spring rates of a solid axle vehicle, right? No, it's sure. Game. So the, These those... babies are 800 pound springs. Yeah, and I remember you looked at me like, who the hell runs 800 pound springs? Like, I think, I don't even know if you can get stiffer springs. I don't think you can. And you put the 800 pound springs on there and with how your geometry is set up, that actually worked out, huh? It, yeah, it, um, the only thing is maybe I need to slow down the rebound because it it bucks a little bit. Oh, okay. So it may right. slow down the rebound in it, but I got those clickers yeah. on those shocks that you I ordered me. I would love so. to see you show up to see Phil at Liberty Mountain Fab on this thing. Go, hey Phil, could you just tune this real quick could for you, me? <laughs> could you tune it? I, I need a shock tune. <laughs> That would blow his mind. All right, so let's uh, let's see. What do you got going here in the back? Is the trunk open? Oh, yeah. I probably need a screwdriver or something to open it. Oh, yeah. I can't fit my fingers. I see you got the SS badge back here, huh? Yes, sir. Tail light still? That's where, the, that's where the original gas cap is, where you originally fill it up. Oh, I got These you. These are where the original fill oh, ones. right here. Did they it twist off, but, you know, I would have lost it in the mud, so you glued it don't on. come on. Yeah. Hot glue. Oh, that's a that's a nice key you got there. Okay, this so, is my key. So, oh shit, I didn't even realize these tail lights. That's exhaust, huh? That's my exhaust. Yeah. So here's uh, some old Facebook Marketplace boat headers. Is that and what this they was are? the other end of the boat header? I just smashed it down into a square. So basically, took this, that out, stuck it in there. Dry stacks, basically, right? Pretty much, yeah. And uh, exhaust in here. Now, what do you got there? It looks like a this hydraulic is my, tank. Uh, electric over hydraulic rear steer. It's off of a dump trailer. So it's a motor and a little tank. Yep. yep. Um, and then now we can kind of see in that what this isn't really the radiator, is it? Um, it doesn't need water because it runs on methanol, but I just wanted yeah. to have Santa's water not, just to have water. Santa's used to like I'm standard thirsty. big blocks and that kind of stuff, right? And uh, I, I'm not really in on methanol, but I'm really getting pissed off at the California fuel, you know? Oh, you like methanol. methanol in it. Two dollars a gallon. Two dollars a gallon. <laughs> and it doesn't get hot, right? No, it doesn't get hot, no. So you're, you're, you don't run this for long periods of time, but when you do, it doesn't overheat. Um, I hot lapped it at the side by side drags and it didn't get hot. It doesn't it even have an electric fan on there. That's no, it doesn't have no fan. This is my temperature gauge right here if you want to see it. Oh, you have to get out and look. Yeah. <laughs> That's custom. Like I said, when you're driving this thing, I imagine you can't look down, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> So look, look right in here. I can see just enough in there. Um, I see I see blower belts. I see uh, electric. Is that electric water pump in there? Oh uh, yeah, we got electric water pump over here. We got a yep. mechanical fuel pump that runs off the camshaft. Oh, that's right. I forgot you got mechanical injection. So is this yeah. like Hillborn style or what? Yeah, similar. Marketplace style. Similar. It's like a, a bird catcher injector. Okay. I, 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 Injector hat. I've hit quite a few birds in my sleigh, but I don't this know. This catches them. Yeah, oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's bird catching? Yeah. The bottom line, it probably has giant jets and sucks a lot of fuel. It does burn some fuel. Yeah, what, what size is your tank? 20? 20 gallons. But that gives you about five minutes? Uh, maybe six. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, you know, I think if I kind of converted it, put a roof rack on it, got some presents up there, you know, um, Instead of having the reindeer uh, pull me around, we just make those into venison and beef jerky to keep me fed, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then we, we, you know, get some presents around the world in this bad boy, huh? Yeah. I'm going to need to set up like a fuel station stop, you know, every eight miles. It has a hell of a tow rating. So if you need, <laughs> if you need to put a tow hitch on this thing, well, the you, one you could thing, tow your fuel with you. I'm thinking before, you know, I bring out, bring out the uh, Santa wallet, we make a deal on this bad boy. Uh-huh. Mm. I was thirsty. Warm Coors Light is better than, <laughs> you know, anything else cold. Uh, I'm thinking that uh, I got to kind of sample the goods a little bit. Kinda, okay. I got to see what it can do yeah, yeah, before yeah. we make a deal. So yeah. you mind showing me what this bad boy can do? Sure. Well, shit, fire it up. Let's check it out. All right, let's, let's hear it. I want to see if it'll do a burnout first, all right? It probably, it probably will. All right. I, I, think, I think what we ought to do is maybe uh, back it in the shop and and you show me what I can do in the shop before we uh, okay. go out and get dirty. All right.
a test hit, see what this thing can do. Oh, shit. God damn. <laughs> Woo! America. because you do need a gas mask <laughs> yeah, in there. Yeah, you do. Um, I, I tell you what, I think maybe I overshot the green. I, I think maybe I need something it's in the- a little too much for you? Maybe something like a four-cylinder or no. stock LS. I do not have none of that. Yeah, I mean, we might want to, I'll look around the property, but uh, you can keep this uh, beauty for yourself. All right. Santa doesn't need that. I'll have to pass it on to my oh, son. Damn. <laughs> Don't forget now, 12% off, 12 rigs of Christmas sales going on the WFO website till the end of the year. 12% on all builder parts, you can build your own mud marrow, dirty bird, hummer, rear steer, mechanical injected, supercharged piece of America. Merry Christmas. <laughs>